Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. Today I am going to be doing an update on some home decor pieces that we purchased. It's been a while since I last did a video like this and we have been in this house now for two years which is crazy. It was only two years the other day but I did have a whole series where I shared with you each room as we decorated in our old house house both our houses have been new builds we seem to like new builds I think because it's a blank canvas and we can visualize better what we want to do we have so many projects um, and things that we want to do in this house that I will be sharing with you guys the trouble is Ben and I are so impatient and we just want everything done at once however it doesn't work like that at the moment we are focusing on the garden because it is so Summer, well kind of summer where is the summer I don't even know but anyway so we are doing things um, there and most of the things I want to share with you guys home decor pieces are in the living room today so let me start rambling on and let's get right into the video you may have noticed a few of these things if you watch my clean with me's so the first couple of things are on our dining room table. We purchased this from a charity shop. The two new things are first of all the mats. I was on the hunt for some weaved mats and there is loads of them about however they are always quite big and because this table is narrow and it's got like this curvy shape to it it's hard to find a smaller mat but I did find these in Dunham. They came in the pack of four and they were under £10, I think they were a really great price. They do do the coasters as well that I would like to pick up just to finish it off. But I'm super happy with these. We do have serviettes from, well napkins, fabric napkins from Dunelm. And I would like to pick, they were grey, but I would like to pick up some lighter neutral ones to pop on these mats as we generally do eat at the table most nights now. Then the other thing, I have a bit of a thing actually guys for Dunham. I really like everything in there and they're always, all of the pieces are really good prices. So we did pick up these dining room tables at the start of the year. Now, we absolutely love these. However, there was a bit of back and forth with them because we were ordering four. It's quite stressful. There was just like little marks and things for the pride that I wasn't happy with. Um, but Dunham customer service was amazing. And I absolutely love these dining room chairs. They come in two other different colors with regards to the fabric on the seats. This is the grey, they also have a black and then like a cream. They're super comfy, these chairs as well. I love the vibe and the look they have. They just complement the table really nicely. Another big purchase in the living room was some curtains. Now we have two sets of French doors in here and we ummed and ahmed about blinds. However, I didn't really like the ones on French doors. So we decided against them, although I did find some really nice black wooden ones and blinds to go I think and we will eventually get them but they were a super large investment. These curtains are really nice. Now bear in mind guys they are a bit wonky and weird because we do need a lot more rings. We've just got some that I got from my mother-in-law and we do have a few of the rings that we want on the curtains, but we just needed to get them up um, for the time being. These curtains are from Next. They're blackout curtains and they also have this thermal technology that helps to cool down the room so they don't let in any heat. But these are the pencil pleat curtains. I can't remember the name of them, but I will pop the name down below. I love the colour of them. And then the rods that we got were from Dunham again. These are a matte black rod. And then we have the matte black rings and they're the perfect length. I didn't even have to do anything to them, which is always great. There's a sleepy Sully down there as well, isn't there? Don't you show everyone what your new purchase is? What daddy got you? <laughs> he thinks he's there now. Why don't you show everyone? Hey? Got a few holes in already because we like to get the squeak out. But 
this is from Audi, isn't it? And you love it. It's your new favourite toy, isn't it? Hey? The last thing in the living room is these artificial flowers and foliage. I picked these all up from HomeSense. HomeSense and Dunnell Mill are my favourite places to get artificial flowers that actually look real as well. And I was sick of buying fresh flowers to put in this vase. I wanted something that could permanently be in here. I have three different types. I have this long one here that I think is called Willow and then these green leaves and then I popped in these cute white flowers and I eventually want to pick up some clear glue to put in the bottom so it looks like it's got water in but I really like how they go on this tray. I cut them all down and just sort of arrange them how I wanted them. I wanted to share with you guys also a plan that we have for this back wall. I love the built-in shelf and we did originally get a crate for this wall but the price was insane and I know wood is really expensive at the moment so I found a good few videos on YouTube where people have done them themselves with Ikea Billy bookcases and then they just add trim and things to make it not look like an Ikea Billy bookcase. So I think that's what we're going to do and we'd like to have a fireplace in the middle. As you can see this wall is really big compared to the TV unit and as much as we love this unit I think eventually we'll sell it when we come to do this built in here and the idea is we want it to be the same colour as our bar cart that is actually from Ikea, it's like a really nice deep dark green so that's going to be our feature wall with shelves and then cabinets underneath so I would definitely take you on the journey of building this when we start it. Okay there is a lot of things going on in this garden but the thing I wanted to share with you guys is our new pergola. If you remember in the old house I will link that video because I absolutely love that pergola. We built one from scratch in wood. This time we thought we would just buy one. This is a metal one. This is from B&Q. It's currently available as far as I know. They have two sizes. There's a slightly larger one and we wanted to fit it against the French doors. So it's not set in stone yet. We are doing a couple of things to this. We need to extend the patio but we absolutely love this. We want to get a nice dining table and chairs for outside for this area so we can entertain. But this is another thing that I'll be sharing in a separate video, like the progress and then the final result. And last but not least, I picked up this really beautiful rug for in our closet slash my office makeup room. And it fits perfectly in this area. I've been looking for something like this for such a long time and I saw this in HomeSense. It's a nice quality rug as well for the price. The only thing is, I don't know if you can see up there, the rug keeps slipping so I need to purchase one of those grip mats underneath so it stays in place and it stays nice and flat. If you are looking for a super affordable rug that's still great quality, they did have some Ralph Lauren ones in there that were very, very nice, then I would definitely check out HomeSense. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. I look forward to sharing with you guys all the projects that we have coming up. One that I'm hoping to share with you guys super soon. It's nearly done, so definitely keep a look out for that. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video. Take care guys, bye.